at any rate, here we go. All right, so I am going to walk through uh, the setup of the Project Fallout Companion uh, right here in a little mini tutorial. Now, some people on the Steam Workshop have mentioned that they've had trouble getting this going. Um, as I said in the readme, uh, there's a possibility that other mods may have a conflict. I just wanted to show here that um, I'm running a ton of mods along with uh, the Project Fallout uh, requirements. So it all depends on which mods you are running. Um, if you're running mods that require specific aspects of either the vanilla game um, that I may have removed for the Fallout um, realism portion of the mods, then it's possible that's having a conflict. Otherwise, it's certainly not a question of compatibility with most mods. The mods that I'm running here um, don't take away from the core of what Fallout is. Hence the reason I've left them in. A lot of these are pure functionality, um, basically enhancing the RimWorld experience. Uh, as you can see here, Project Fallout Companion, the mod that I created, is the last mod that, uh, which I have installed. If you go to my WordPress, which is hosseltoff.wordpress.com, um, and then look for bunk, and then mods, something to that effect, I think you'll find this specific mod. More importantly, you'll find a full loadout of all of the mods that are listed right here uh, in case anybody's curious. Now the ones listed within the readme that are a necessity, uh, obviously you're going to need the Project Fallout, which is the core of what my Project Fallout companion is uh, pertaining to. Again, without Project Fallout uh, version 1.6b, my mod just won't work at all. Um, I've piggybacked this and uh, luckily received permission from Ashborn K9 uh, to do so. Uh, he's given me a uh, full endorsement to go ahead with what I did. Um, once this is installed, um, make sure that Project Fallout Companion install is installed afterwards because again, it does piggyback the core of his, uh, his mod, his XMLs, uh, and changes some of those along with uh, the uh, vanilla XMLs uh, of RimWorld itself. Uh, you also need to get um, the Project Fallout Companion scenario um, so that when you do set up your actual game, if you use that specific scenario, it will give you the ideal um, game experience on what I was uh, intending to create in the first place. The other one that I would highly recommend uh, because I designed uh, the Project Follow Companion based on this, is Research Pal by Fluffy. Um, putting in Research Pal is going to make your life a lot easier with regards to uh, signing research projects because um, the way that you can mod in research projects in RimWorld, uh, though intuitive, it's a little bit picky on how you place them as from a, a, a viewing standpoint when you actually click on the tab down on the lower bar. So using Research Pal takes care of that for you. It knows the prerequisites uh, as far as the tech tree is concerned and lays it out in a really, really uh, beautiful and functional format. So I highly recommend, though it's not necessary, I highly, highly recommend Research Pal uh, by Fluffy. Um, I don't think this version is Fluffy's. Uh, but he, he did create the original mod, as you can see. Uh, Sky Archangel and uh, Not Food have done the other two updates, but it works like a charm. Highly recommend it. So again, you need Project Fallout version 1.6b. You need my Project Fallout Companion 1.0. And then you need to have the Fallout, uh, Project Fallout Companion scenario. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new colony using the aforementioned Project Fallout Companion uh, scenario. What this does is basically removes uh, a bunch of incidents, which I do not believe uh, fit Fallout as a theme. 
um, gives you a bunch of, um, I guess, equipment or uh, clothing, so on and so forth, that will create, again, uh, a Fallout experience, and then scatters the map. Let's move forward. I am going to go with some challenge. I'm going to leave it on uh, Cassandra Classic. Now, some people on the um, and within the messages have mentioned that they've had trouble creating worlds. Uh, I suspect they're having issues with uh, perhaps other mods that are, um, whether it's plant life that are being generated that I have somewhat removed, or whether it's they've got other factions installed, I have no idea. All I know is I'm able to get it to work. And you saw my mod list, so I'm not 100%. Now what I can uh, um, try to encourage is the following. So for globe coverage, I always go 100%. I know it does take a while to generate a planet by doing so. That being said, I like to have a full planet. Um, I also suggest that you randomize your seed a couple times. Doesn't really matter. Let's go with purple. I don't know what that means. Let's go purple. Um, I'm leaving rainfall and temperature, and I'm going to create a world. Now, if this doesn't work, first off, it's not going to crash. So if it crashes on your side, chances are you've either got mods installed via workshop that are having a conflict, or you've got mods installed manually that are creating a conflict. Either way, it's kind of hard for me to uh, replicate whatever you're going through without knowing what you're going through. So if you can be uh, specific or perhaps look at um, developer mode to find out what exactly is having a conflict, that would be helpful. Uh, this does take a while if it does not create the expected factions. Then all I would suggest doing is going back and um, trying again. Randomize the seed, regenerate, and see what happens. Um, what I'm expecting to see is one vault settlement, three um, standard settlements, a tribe settlement, two uh, raider settlements, and one gunner settlement. All right, so I got some error messages. And as you can see, not a lot of factions here. <clears throat> that being said, I did get Vault, three Settlers, a Tribe, a Gunner, and one Raider. So I lost one Raider. And I didn't actually get that many settlements around the globe. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to randomize to a different one. Let's go Magpie and generate again. Yes, 100% is time consuming. Yes, it's 2018 and we don't have the patience for this. But um, it's hours of excitement and enjoyment. So why not invest just a few minutes of your existence to ensure you get a jam-packed world experience of Project Fallout. Besides, the music, the ambiance, my irritating voice, what more could you possibly want? I didn't make any changes uh, to the biomes that should have a negative effect with generating the maps. I've changed some plants. I've changed the loadout of which animals show up, but I haven't changed the core of like, temperatures or uh, what gets constructed. Uh, there's really no reason why you shouldn't be able to generate a planet. I've changed the number of factions and which factions, but um, I've looked at code from other mods that use... There, there we go. Now look at this. This is just randomizing seeds. 100%. A jam-packed world. Factions. We've got a Vault Dweller faction. We've got three settlers, a tribe, a gunner, and two raiders. Exactly what I expected. Took two times, but we've got a huge map to work with now. And as you can see, everything's named after 
Fallout. The Hub, which is a farmer's union. We've got Capitol Building 3, which is a militia, so that's the gunners. Um, I didn't do anything with the tribes. I thought tribes were a neat aspect. I left one tribe in because I figured in a world of Fallout, why couldn't we have um, basically people that decided to go old school? Um, it's more than possible. Uh, Peoria, Farmers Union, uh, Boneyard, we've got uh, the Trade Emporium in Moresti, um, Commonwealth Co-op in uh, Arorio. Here we got the Fairfax Ruins with the Forged. So yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. Vault 95 have the Militia, so the Gunners are in a vault. A little bit of everything. I'm going to go to Advanced and create a slightly larger map. A random site. Oh, sweet Jesus. This should be interesting. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. What just happened? Did I not select a random site? Why is it not showing me? Oh, right here. Sorry. Probably could have kept the previous one. Although I, I have no regrets. Because, uh... We're nice and close to some allies and shit. Let's do that. Now all we need is a colonist that um, can keep us alive longer than the last run. So what I've done here is I've actually loaded Prepare Carefully, uh, which is a fantastic mod. Now I don't have it as a prerequisite to run my mod, though I would highly recommend it uh, because it actually allows you to customize the start to fit uh, Fallout. So if you're not using this, you're always going to start with Synth because uh, I think I've got the starting characters to come in uh, basically as spacers. Now you don't come in from space obviously, but um, you will start with Synth Thread, which is not Fallout. So by using uh, Prepare Carefully, once you've chosen your one of five who you will be playing with, uh, you can actually choose their loadout, and I'll show you what I mean when I get to that stage. But first, let's pick somebody that hopefully will survive. Now, somebody who's not uh, capable of violent playing by themselves is not going to have an easy go of things. Now, here's somebody that's good, although very old. Because um, he's incapable of nothing, which is great. Outdoorsy, fast walker, teetotaler. I don't really care about teetotaler. The problem here is he starts off with anxiety. So I'm using the psychology mod, so um, this isn't good. I left to self-treat himself, and he's really old, so he could have like a heart attack or shit like that at any given moment. Incapable of firefighting, not good. Uh, incapable of violent, incapable of violent, wow. So we have absolutely no choice. We have to go with old man Shun with uh, brain anxiety. Awesome. So we're going to go into prepare uh, carefully, and what we're going to do is, you can see in equipment, this is the loadout that my scenario provides you with. Now, if you're not using prepare carefully, you're going to start with a jumpsuit, a security helmet, and a security vest close by. What we're going to use prepare carefully for is we're going to give those to start with. So for pants, we're going to take them off. For bottom clothing, we're going to give him the vault jumpsuit. For the middle clothing, none. Perfect. For top clothing, we're going to give him the vault security vest. And for the hat, the vault security helmet. So there we go. Let's get rid of each of these because we just put them on. Now, the Pip-Boy uh, uses the same layer as one of the three. So we'll just have to put that on when we start the game. And you can't equip them with weapons or anything like that and prepare carefully. So 